book, like painting, like sculpture, has evolved. We have a really broad definition of book. We think of the book as a contained narrative. And that container can be anything from traditional book covers to a box that contains a set of cards. A wall where a sequence of images has been placed. It could be a sculptural book that people would see from a number of different angles. We really want people to understand that books still are relevant, but books might look different. Minnesota Center for Book Arts is a nonprofit visual arts center that focuses on the arts of the book. It opened its doors in 1985. We're proud to say that we're the largest and most comprehensive center of its kind in the world. From the very beginning, it's always been about community for the center in terms of having multiple access points for the services and the programs that we offer. So we have programs that span from preschoolers to master artists. In our main gallery, we have about four shows each year. The gallery really gives us the opportunity to engage the public, educate, and show them just how far this idea of book can go. We have a retail shop called The Shop at MCBA. We're consigning well over 300 different artists representing their work, and it's a wonderful shop in many different ways. First and foremost, it's to provide income to artists. There's a number of different ways that artists can engage with an MCBA. There's always been a constant stream of very talented artists and residents that have worked in the space, both in printing, binding, and paper. That continues today in projects like the Winter Book. The Winter Book is a publication that we think of as our flagship publication. We try to incorporate the different traditional methods that are being done in our studios. The Winter Book is hand printed, it's hand bound, we have a great community that comes in and helps with it, we have master binders and master printers, it really celebrates the idea of craft. It's a wonderful way for us to demonstrate what we do here at the center and what we stand for. So each year when we do a winter book, it's, it's quite unique. We start with the text and then we work off of that. This is the winter book that we did in 2013. It's done with paper that we made in our studios here. It's all about this relationship to the earth, this is a book called Come and Get It, Poetry and Three Stories by Kevin Kling. He has put down on paper a performance piece that he did. This is a winter book that we did in 2007. It was an anthology of visual poets called Vizpoology. So within, you have a score for a performance. You have additional prints and broadsides, different games that you can play. You have books in the form of a set of foreign language cards dealing with a made-up alphabet. All of these are examples of winter books, and each one kind of uses the structure of the winter book, the materials that go into it to best tell the message. So the importance of the winter book being made by hand is um, a celebration of the tradition of all of the crafts that go into making a book. This year's winter book, it's the 25th book, and it's a collection of writing from the community members. So it's the first time ever that the writing has come from the actual makers um, that work at the Center for Book Arts. The people who work here know so much about what it means to shape something by hand. 
be this paper making or book binding or printing. Uh, we know about that. So we are calling it from the Center on Community and Practice of Making. And so we wanted to really acknowledge not just the people who've worked on the book, but all the other people. The mission of Minnesota Center for Book Arts is to lead the advancement of the book as an evolving art form. We have a dedication to preserving the traditions, but we also want to encourage experimentation. We want to be able to offer artists the opportunity to express themselves in a way that makes sense to their contemporaries. I like to think of Minnesota Center for Book Arts as a full resource for artists to come in and create. We have a very inspiring space to work in. We have great instructors, that it's a place where people can come and explore, they can appreciate, they can master skills, or they can just come here and be inspired.